What is up guys, it's me Gary Car Guy, and today we have the brand new 2025 Hyundai Tucson and we're about to talk about some of the differences that they made from 2024. So, let's jump in. Hyundai took the evolution versus revolution look on a 2025 Tucson because it's only slightly different than the 2024 models, but it is those slight differences that are going to massively impact the entire ownership experience and since this SEL was the first 2025 I can get my hands on, this is the one I'm going to review. I figured we could start with the exterior and work our way from the ground up by first starting with the rims. Hyundai has offered real rims on every single Tucson trim level for a while now instead of going cheap and giving you hubcaps. This latest version is no different and it has these beautiful 18 inch rims that I feel a lot of people would be proud of to have on their own car. Pulling back from the wheels, the side profile still is chiseled like the previous body style, but those lines have been boldened to really exude a strong and rugged overall vibe. Circling around to the back, the new Tucson's rear end is still able to tie together that rugged motif and the 2025 version still retain the hidden rear wiper blade. So unlike most other SUVs on the market, when viewing the Tucson from the rear end, it doesn't look like a fat little piglet. Now, if you're familiar with the 2024 Tucsons, you're also going to be familiar with this front end, but the front end is where the most changes have been. The designers were able to integrate a very smooth overall flow into the body while somehow making things more pixelated at the same time. The front grille now includes more vertical lines that makes the Tucson's new face seem even more bold than before, and the bumper is even more sportier than the previous design, although this particular Tucson, being the SEL, isn't the sporty model. From a design standpoint, I'd say that this facelift is going to be very successful. If we look under the hood, the Tucson has a four-cylinder engine that is somehow able to produce 187 horsepower, and if you happen to get the front-wheel drive version, owners can expect a city highway average of 28 miles per gallon. But if you're wanting a little bit more in the way of fuel economy, the Tucsons also do have hybrid options available. As I alluded to earlier, this new Tucson has really focused on being as easy to use as possible. In the 2025 design, there has also been a repackaging of the trim levels. Just like like Hyundai did with the 2024 Hyundai Kona packages, you have great features without necessarily needing to climb into the higher, more costly trim levels. For example, every single 2025 Tucson does away with the old school style key and will be equipped with a smart key that includes remote starting as standard equipment. Once inside, your eyes might brighten when you see the all new interior. The Tucson houses the driver's interface screen and the touch screen on this curved panoramic display, really opening up the interior to feeling even more roomier than before. Not only does that screen really give you the feeling that you're living in the future, but something new for 2025, every single Hyundai Tucson will have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability. Plus another feature that all Tucsons will include is Hyundai Blue Link. Blue Link allows drivers to control their car from their phones. That means if you come visit Orlando and hit up a theme park, you could use your phone to not just find where you left the car, but also start it up, even if you're out of range of the key fob, plus a whole lot more. And by the way, guys, I'm a real salesperson here in Orlando, and I'm trying to give Orlando residents a local hookup. All you got to do is click the link below that says schedule with Miguel, make an appointment, and then come on in to see me personally. Once you get here, I'll be able to give you an extra $500 off just for watching my video, and you'll have access to not just Tucson's, but everything else in our inventory. So now that you know that, all you got to do is click the link below. So. Let's get back to Tucson. Also, Tucson SELs like this one and the higher packages will also include dual temperature air conditioning and heated seats for the driver and front passenger so that way they can comfortably tune their perfect level of comfy. And below that, you'll also see the wireless charger. Besides charging up devices, it's also used for something called digital key too. That means key fobs are now optional and it doesn't matter anymore whether you have an Apple phone or an Android phone. Not only can your phone become your digital key, but you can send friends or family their own digital key straight to their phone. So when your people come to visit you from out of town, you could send them permission to use their phones on your Tucson. Then when they're done needing to use it, you could just deactivate their key and keep on moving on with your life. It's that simple. No need to worry about swapping around keys and adjusting your day or risk losing key fobs that now cost hundreds of dollars. It's a super convenient technology and something that I love about this newest generation of Tucson. Okay, so now let's talk about space. In the Hyundai hierarchy, the Tucson is smaller than the Santa Fe, but it's definitely not a tiny SUV by any means. Not only is the front very comfortable for most people, but the rear legroom is incredible at 41.3 inches. Also, every seat, front 
and rear can actually recline to maximize comfort for all. The SEL is also able to add to the comfort by having rear AC vents and USB-C style plugs for anybody in the rear as well. Plus, the rear passengers also get something that the factory doesn't even give the front passengers, and that is the rear glass is actually tinted. So now that I got the people room out of the way, let's talk about cargo room. Using the smart key to open up the rear door, families will love the amount of room that they'll have to play with. If you need to leave the rear seats in place, the Tucson still gives nearly 39 cubic feet of volume, but if you need to help a friend move or want to do some off-grid exploring, flatten the rear seats and start loading up because there is 74.8 cubic feet to take advantage of. And in this configuration, it feels almost big enough to hear an echo. Now, please don't think that Hyundai forgot to keep everyone safe inside either. Besides having all the normal safety things like airbags and crumple zones, the Tucson can monitor and actively help avoid certain situations from happening. Ford Collision Avoidance Assist applies the brakes when an emergency stop is inevitable. Blind spot sensors on all the Tucsons further help improve situational awareness in ever-changing traffic conditions on the road, and something new is the chassis control unit. Not only does that new unit improve handling by automatically distributing torque to where it's needed, but if you're ever driving at higher speeds and there's a lot of side wind pushing you around, that controller will actually help smoothen the ride by slight adjustments in the braking and steering torque. And remember what I said, this is just the Tucson SEL. It's technically the second simplest package in the entire Tucson line. The 2025s have a lot more to offer, and as soon as I get my hands on them, I'm gonna be doing a video that covers all the different trims on all the 2025 Tucson, so make sure you're subscribed for that. Now, if you wanna see what the previous Tucsons were like, all you gotta do is go on over to my channel and check out the playlist that says nothing but Tucsons, so that way you can see how they've evolved over the years. And so guys, those are some of the biggest differences with the 2025 Hyundai Tucson, and no, I didn't talk about every single little detail of the car because it would take way too long, and I'm too fun for that. But if you like these videos, make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you can be alerted to the newest videos as soon as they drop. But until next time, I'm a Gary Car Guy, and I'll see you soon.